What's up, brother? Just chilling. Cool. Yeah. Mm. I ain't I'm just gonna stick to being friends. It's just kind of get to the point where it's just too tough. You just keep fighting about stuff. And I don't know. She pointed out some things that the way I treat her that I, I still don't. I mean, I wish I knew what she was talking about, but yeah. Well, sometimes it's hard to figure out how other people feel. You know, like. You think one thing is one way, you know, and like and she people... just said, she like thinks I talk down to her and treat her like a dog, and I was just like, when do I do this? And I mean, like I'm not saying I don't. I mean, I like you said, things, certain things are viewed differently through the outside things, and I just like the thing that upsets me about it is just like wish she would have let me know. So like, I mean, I'm not one of those people that's afraid of change. You know, I would gladly change the way I acting or what I'm saying, you know, if it's hurting her feelings in a way. But I think sometimes she takes like, you know, and I've told this to numerous people, you know, I'm an extremely sarcastic person, like the half majority of the stuff that I say, but like I mean, that's one of the things I wish I would change about myself is because it's you know, people take me too seriously. I feel mm -hmm. like, you know, the stuff that comes out of my mouth is just one of those like, oh, this dude's a dick. But it's like, you know, I'm not serious. I would never realistically say anything like that but yeah and i don't know if maybe it's just like you know listening to all of you guys you know the way you joke around with her maybe uh, you know it's you know misconstrued the way i say it because you know obviously we have a thing yeah together so it's you know portrayed as like i'm trying to be mean to her yeah. that's i know there's a lot of people here she doesn't like like to joke around with her like that yeah you know? And, uh, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, maybe it's for the best. It's so hard. Like, this is not, this is ridiculous. Like, to, to be, like, hooked up with someone and, like, well, make it work. Well, it's like we don't even know each other, you know what I mean? Yeah. And we Plus, started talking after, you know, a week of even barely knowing each other. And, like, yeah. you know, she points out good things, I point out good things, and it's just, like, she she puts on this good front. Well, it's not really a front. I mean, she's an extremely strong person, but, like, you know, and she said to me, you know, she's like, I'm one of the people that she takes the things that I say, you know, a lot more to heart than other people here because of how we feel about each other. And, you know, it's, I wish these are things she would have told me sooner than mm. later, you know, especially when it gets to these points where it's like, you know, we have these blow-ups and stuff. But yeah. I don't feel like last night was, like, that big of an issue and all i was trying to state to her is she just says you know I, I she doesn't like how i try to dismiss her from conversations and i'm like i don't mean it to be that way it's just like you know i i'm always with her here and i never get you know like and you guys have your little thing and i feel like now we have kind of a cool bond me and you and mm -hmm. it's just cool that we can just go like do our thing and talk about things and it's like you know a lot of people don't understand like how much me and you relate mm -hmm. and then she came up to you know a conversation me and chris were having and really she just took that one out of context because me and chris were talking about like past stories of going out and getting girls and I, that's a way i feel like someone would, would disrespect someone they care about you know i, I don't want to talk about things like that in front of her like that's just fucked up on yeah that, that's how i would feel. i wouldn't want her talking about how she went out and try to pick up dudes in front of me so i was just more like hey you know like me and chris are having like a bra moment can you give us a minute and she got like offended by that and i didn't want it to be like that i just didn't want to like throw out my past you know gross yeah. stories and put it in her face like that well sometimes you just want to be alone right? or you want i mean it's so hard because like if you hear you got to check like sometimes you just want to get away from that for a while and just like do your own thing you know and you can't because you're just stuck in this Three Finally, acres, yeah. you know, so no matter what you do, you know, goes around and at least like in the beginning of stages of a normal relationship, like you may not, you might see him just on the weekend or something like that, so. Yeah, and that's, I mean, it has that, but, you know, and I don't mind seeing Hex all the time. I enjoy that, actually. It's just like, like you said, though, it's, see, man, where, where it comes for me is I feel like the reason I was so accepted right off the oh, bat. Dedicate left. I gotta put this guitar away. Uh, I'm sorry, hold on a second.
Yep. Yeah. Excuse me, how low it dropped. Yeah, I'm kidding. Yeah, he's very low. Uh, boy, yeah, let's just off here. I mean, sin ain't in real life. You know? Not even real life. In real life? I would not be wearing my pajamas at 12, 15. You know? I think that's the frustrating thing about this too, man, is this, like, you know, a lot of people think this is, like, it's not hard. It's mentally hard. You yeah, know what I mean? mentally. It's not, it's like, hard. hard working. It's just mentally hard. Yeah. But, you know, it's like, you know, people are like, oh, this is so hard. It's just like, what's hard about this other than, like, frustration of, like, not being able to know what's going on out there. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? That's the frustrating part about it. It's like my everyday life compared to this place is way harder, you know what I mean? Yeah. But like, yeah, it just sucks not being able to like go out there and communicate and do all that other shit. But I don't know, that's where like we had a long talk. Like we had a good long talk and it's just like, you know, I think we just rushed into what we had. It was just kind of, you know, she wanted something and I wanted something and she's definitely extremely beautiful. But in a setting like we're in, it's pretty easy to be, you know, pro-choice towards one person because there's not a whole lot of options, you know what I mean? So obviously she was excited when I walked through the door and then I'm looking around like, okay, yeah, she's extremely, but her personality is amazing as well. It's just, I don't know, just some of the stuff she said, like, it didn't bother me and, like, I was upset the way she was saying it. It was just mm -hmm. upset that it took this long or took this many fights to, you know, come out of her, you know, state, like, I, the way I treated her and stuff like that, which, I don't know. I still, yeah. I guess, I don't understand where, I understand what she's talking about. I just don't understand the situations that she's talking about mm -hmm. is where I'm coming from. Because I just, I mean, it, that's what upsets me, I guess, is me being that way. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy that treats someone the way that I'm, you know, being portrayed as treating her. Which, I'm not going to say I didn't, because I don't know. But, I would like to think I'm a big enough person to change that about myself. You know, if the time ever comes, she wants to, you know, explain more into detail or more into depth of what she means by that. Which hopefully she will, but like I said, it's a time thing, it's a time game here. Mm. Yeah. Here's but time. we both agreed, you know, this. we both came in here not wanting a relationship. And I didn't want to be a couple in, a, in an environment like this. You know, I wanted to show my personality, not to show like what someone does, you know, because she, she's changed me in a way, it's not all, you know, mostly for good, but there's some things that I like, you know, for instance, what we're talking about is the whole, but that's a, it's a thing that I can't change about myself if she won't let me know what I'm doing in that aspect as well. Yeah. All right, give it some time. I'm sure. Give it some time. But I think, you know, long term wise, it's probably just best that we stay friends here while we're here. Yeah. Because, you know, realistically, it's like nothing's going to happen after can, this. So. We're going to get out. You go, we'll go your several ways. Yeah, exactly. Which will be a lot harder in the long run if we, you know, try to keep this thing going. And then it ends up being that long six or whatever, however long, two to three months for me. Right? You know, at least I don't think it'll be weird. You mean me and her? Yeah. No. No, I don't. I don't get that feeling. No, not at all. I don't see that happening. The thing, you know, the only thing I feel like it could be weird out of it would be like one of us talking to another person. But obviously, it's kind of hard to do that here. So 
I don't really see me going for any of the other girls here, and I don't really see her going for any of the dudes here, so. Yeah. I'm not saying whatever, but I know, me personally, I'm not gonna go for the whole mic and. Nah. Yeah. Gonna talk to Dedeker or Nikki or something, fuck that. Girls, but not my. It's not my style. The last thing I wanna do is hurt Hex. Have you ever noticed, like, me saying shit? Well, I'm not gonna say, like, it was, like, anything serious. No, yeah, yeah. Just, like, know. sarcastic, fooling around. Yeah. yeah. But even that sense, yeah. so, like, like I said, you know, that's me, but that's something I, I've been yeah. told in the past that, you know, I've, I've been perceived to be a dick because of that as well. Yeah. So I'm not offended, you know, I, I, I'm offended for myself because and I don't know how to say what I'm trying to say. Because I don't like that about myself, and I'm glad people can tell me that about myself, so I have the ability to change that. You know, I feel like a, a piece of shit person would be the person to hear that information and be like, well, "I'm gonna change that about myself," which I, I don't know. I, don't know. I just don't like being that guy. Yeah. I think that's why I've been like single for three years. It's just, I don't, I'm not ready for a relationship. Yeah, but you're young. Hmm? You're young. You yeah. got a lot of time left. A lot of time. You know? Enjoy yourself. Get all your shit. Get all your toys and sure. have all your fun and then, you know, then you'll meet the right person and she'll knock your socks off and she'll be everything you want and... I'll meet my Jess. I'll meet your Jess. They're few and far between. You know, here's the thing about relationships. From from the time you <clears throat> from the time you really started dating, right, to the time you find the one, you meet a whole bunch of crazies in the middle. But that's the fun, mm -hmm. you know. Like this. Well, I think is, that's what shows you. That's the you fun know, what, of it. How? I think that's why the person that you fall in love with and the person that you end up being with. That's what makes her so special, you know what I mean? Because you see like, what you've gone through mm -hmm. to get to her, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think this all here for you with Hex was a good experience. Oh, yeah. You know? Definitely. You know, I've opened up more with Hex than I have with any girl in the last three years. I mean, you know, it's her personality that helped with that, but it's also the experience that I'm in right now that helped a lot with that because, mm -hmm. you know, like you said, we are forced... To not force, but we we can't leave, so it doesn't give us that ability to be like this. I'm done. I'm not gonna text or call that person ever again. Like mm -hmm. I, I can't really go anywhere. You have to face your demons. Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Which I'm good. I'm happy about. You know what I mean? And I truly believe that Hex will find some amazing guy someday because of the amazing person that she yeah. is. But that's Hex is the kind of person you. You know, you always want to have on your radar, just be like, you know, just to have in your Rolodex to be able to call at any time and shoot the breeze with, you know, because mm -hmm. she's a good person and a good sounding board, mm -hmm. you know. She's just deep down a good, like you said, a good person, yeah. you know. She's here for all the right reasons, which I can't say that about everybody here. But I think there's a definitely a select few people that came here for the right reasons and I'm not saying you know all the right reasons have to be a reason that's gonna better the world but I mean just you know like one of my I don't feel like I'm, I'm here for a selfish reason I came here. consider that to be a selfish like you know I'm not trying to become famous I'm not trying to fucking make money off this it's just you know this was like my just experience you know life is stepping out of my comfort zone mm -hmm. And meeting 15 random people, just like getting to know them on a whole new level. But like you said too, this is a cool last, like, I'll have a buddy I can call in New Jersey, I'll have a friend, I'll have a buddy I can call in Detroit. Mm -hmm. I'll have a buddy I can call in New York City. It's definitely a cool deal. And I miss my...
Will I? Yeah. Probably. Drive down to Tennessee? Yeah. How far is Tennessee from New Jersey? About 16 hours.